Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is two slots have been cut in plate DEF and the plate has been placed so that the slots fit two fixed frictionless pins A and B. Knowing that P equal to 15 LB determine A the force each pin exerts on the plate B the reaction at F. In this problem given is a plate arranged like this. So at A and B there are two slots are cut and then two frictionless pins are fixed like this and there is a weight there is a force 30 LB is acting at point E and a force P equal to 15 LB is acting at point D. So in this problem we need to find the first portion of the problem we need to find uh, the reactions due to these pins on this plate and second portion of the problem is uh, we need to find reaction at F. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. So there is a force P is acting at point D and there is a force 30 LB acting at point E downwards and this is towards right. So due to these two forces there will be reaction at point A that will be perpendicular to this plate here. So and also there is a reaction at point B that will be perpendicular to this slot. So reaction at A is perpendicular to this slot and reaction at B is perpendicular to this slot. So since this angle here is 30 degrees so this reaction uh, will have 30 degrees angle with the vertical. So and also there is a reaction at F. So acting vertically downwards. So these two pins are frictionless. So there won't be any uh, forces along the pin along the slots. So now let us uh, take forces along horizontal. So along horizontal we have P and the component of 30 uh, component of RB along horizontal. So let us write sigma fx equal to 0. So here P is acting towards right and the component of R RB along horizontal will be acting towards left. So P equal to RB into sin 30. So the component of RB along horizontal will be RB sin 30 since this angle is 30 degrees. So P equal to RB sin 30. So from this we can write RB equal to P by sin 30. So P is given in the problem as 15 LB. So after substituting uh, all these values and simplification we get RB equal to 30 LB reaction at B is 30 LB. Now let us take moments about A. So RA won't create any moment about A since it is acting at point A. So and P is also won't create any moment about A since it is acting along this line. So this force 30 will create clockwise moment and this reaction RB will create counterclockwise moment and this reaction RF will create clockwise moment about A. So now let us write moment equation sigma ma equal to 0. So 30 into 4. So this force 30 into this distance plus plus because this RF also will create clockwise moment. So this 30 LB and RF will create clockwise moment. So 30 into 4 plus RF into this distance 4 plus 7 plus 2. So RF into 4 plus 7 plus 2 equal to this reaction RB will create counterclockwise moment about A. So RB its vertical component will be RB cos 30. So along this there will be RB cos 30 into this distance 4 plus 7. So RB cos 30 into 4 plus 7 and its horizontal component will be RB sin 30 that will be acting towards this direction and the distance from A to B vertically is 3 inches. So RB sin 30 into 3. So after Substituting the values and simplifying this equation, we get ultimately RF equal to 330.79 minus 120 by 13. So RF equal to 16.21 LB. Reaction RTF RF equal to 16.21 LB. Now let us see forces along vertical. So we have here RA 30 is acting vertical downwards, RA is acting vertically upwards, and RB is acting at an angle 30 degrees with the vertical and RF is acting vertically downwards. Now let us take forces along y direction that is vertical sigma Fy equal to 0. So RA minus 30 and its uh, vertical component is RB 
cos 30 that will be vertically upwards so ra minus 30 plus rb cos 30 minus rf rf is acting vertically downwards 30 is acting vertically downwards so minus minus here equal to 0 so after substituting rb and rf values and simplifying this equation we get finally ra equal to 20.23 lb that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching